In this video, we're going to look at cost complementarity. We're going to have a multi-product firm. This firm produces two goods and has the following cost function. Q subscript 1 is the output of one good, and Q subscript 2 represents the output of another good. So here's the cost function. We want to ask, do cost complementarities exist? Let's first define what that means. The marginal cost of producing one good falls as the production of the other good increases. So if we take the marginal cost of producing good one, what happens to the marginal cost of producing good one as we produce more of the other good, good two? Well, if it falls, if the marginal cost of producing good one falls as we produce more of the other good, we have this uh, indication of cost complementarity. Mathematically, what we want to do is take the partial derivative of the marginal cost function of producing good one with respect to producing good two and see if it has a negative sign. It's less than zero. So let's do the example here. So here, once again, is the cost function. First thing we'll do is get marginal cost of producing good one. And by taking the partial derivative of the cost function with respect to good one, so the 860, that's a constant, so that's just 0. Uh, right here, the partial derivative of this uh, term right here is just going to be minus 0.25q subscript 2. Okay, uh, And then bring down the 2 in front, we got 2q subscript 1. So that's the marginal cost of producing a uh, good 1. The next step is to see what happens to the marginal cost of producing good 1 as we produce more of the other good. So what we'll do is we're going to take the partial derivative of the marginal cost equation up here with respect to good 2. We do that. Uh, this right here is just treated as a constant, so that's 0. And we're left with minus 0 0.25. So since this is less than 0, we have an indication that this firm has cost complementarities. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.